Hello and thanks for joining us in this interview segment of the program. I am Francisca Nana and today we are taking a look at um, ICT development in Nigeria. At the just concluded National Council on Communication Technology, a lot of issues were raised by the participating state and uh, various agencies of government that participated at the co a meeting that held in Akure, the Ondo state capital. To join us today to take a look at this is the Director General, the Acting Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDDA. He is Dr. Ashiru Daura. So you're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. All right. At the second meeting of the National Council on Communication Technology that just, um, that's going on in there now, we saw you made, make some prayers and um, some critical ones at that. One of them, you prayed that States should contribute two percent of their annual budget to ICT development. Why did you make this suggestion? You see, currently, states, I mean, spend at random without any specific uh, amount. So, as a start, we felt there is need to have a fixed percentage, so that the fixed percentage of the budget is dedicated to IT development. Okay. So if we start with 2%, maybe next year we will go a bit higher than that. But then let us start with a dedicated amount, so that at one point somebody will not say there are no funds for this. But if we dedicate a certain percentage, then that percentage will be totally and fully put into IT development. In okay. state. Why do you think um, IT professionals should get a special remuneration? IT is because of the importance of IT. Mm. Because nearly all the sectors will benefit from this. Okay. Whether it is education, health, uh, tourism, all the sectors will benefit from whatever is put in IT. Okay. Because it will reflect either in terms of training of IT personnel, yes. in terms of provision of infrastructure, e-government uh, services. All the sectors will be the beneficiaries. Um, some states asked today that um, the, the, the federal government need that should give them 50 percent subsidy on um, the computer ownership scheme to uh, enable them implement the project to a large extent what's your take on this it's not feasible even the the one driven by the fmct we're not given that amount we're not given 50 percent subsidy so how can we go and uh, do it at the state level you have 36 states and, and FCT. Mm -hmm. Now, if, assuming they say they want 100,000 people in every state to get a computer yeah. every year, and you are subsidizing by 50%, you can calculate how, m how many. That would, that would be a huge amount of money. It would be billions, which we don't have. Yes. And moreover, the states being. I mean, having their independent budgets can subsidize if they will. Uh, all we need is the understanding, the awareness, and the will. Mm. The NIDA has been pushing for a national IT park. Is this project still in process? No, it's not forgotten. Also, as I said earlier, we have a pro, I mean, collaboration with the uh, Cross River State Government. Uh, the background of that was that we wanted to establish two IT parks. Okay. One in one of the southern states, and another in one of the northern states. Okay. So the Cross, uh, Cross River State Government approached us for an MOU, in an agreement, so that that park would be situated in Calabar, in Tinaba, mm -hmm. and we agreed to sign the agreement, and we are working on it. So we'll go ahead, do a similar thing, in the, in the northern part, whether through an MOU or uh, outright, okay. which I think is rather good thing. The MOU is better because the states could provide some basic infrastructure, some facilities, and ours will be to, uh, to put the remaining IT infrastructure and okay. services that are needed. So okay. the project, the IT part, is really on course to pursue it. And over the years, NIDA has also organized um, a national conference, or should I call it an international conference of sorts, uh, called in Nigeria. Is this going? Is this still going to continue? This is our flag, uh, zone of flagship. 
we, we, we started it and we except I think 2011 we didn't uh, miss it every year later it comes and even this year it is in progress we are going to have it God willing okay. so it is uh, in progress we okay. have not abandoned and will not God willing will not abandon okay. it's because there's a lot of uh, benefits uh, a lot of knowledge sharing other benefits. Thank you very much. If you've been watching, um, that was Dr. Ashiru Daura, the Acting Director General of the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDDA. Thank you and it's bye for now.